welcome to my channel welcome to another video it's a new year coming up on us today is the last of last of the 2021 2021 the pandemic is on us lasting for two years two and a half two and three quarter years and um some of us has gone gone before all of us is due to go but not not yet we're going one by one but um 2021 it's it was it is a year and the year has passed and um a new year is coming up on us and um we have to give thanks for the past year that is going and we have to look forward for to the present year that is present here that is um coming 2022 we have to go in it with a resolution we have to go in it with a promise to ourselves we have to let some of us we has all of us no perfect human being is on this earth but all of us has to go in it head on with something with a aim and a plan to succeed all of us cannot be the same everybody is different but at the same time we have to focus on ourself love ourselves love our neighbors pray for one another so i'm talking about pray sometimes i'm telling you about pray but people pray for me sometimes my partner pray for me and my mom and my family some of my family the unseen ones pray for me and the unseen angel cover me and protect me sometimes because sometimes i'm so overwhelmed that i forget to pray one thing though i don't forget the bible because the first thing i do when i wake up i don't sleep all night i wake up i pray i read the bible first thing because i have the bible on my phone so normally when i sleep and wake instead of me going for the bible itself i just pray go into the turn the phone on and just go on this bible verse the verse of the day turn up the verse of the day the bible scripture of the day and that's how i start my day by reading whatever chapter comes up my favorite book of the bible is the psalms and isaiah although we have other books that i'm interested in because in job it give you in jobs give you inspiration because job and long suffering it teaches you patience and tolerance and faith and so on so sometimes we are going we are we have so many fears in us and um sometimes all of us do sometimes about the turbulence, but what we can do is not allow whatever tribulation we has. Try to leave it out. It's always some of us trouble is more than some, but we have to try our best to do not bring it in the new year. Some of us health is our issue, and um, uh, we don't know what the future holds for us, and um, sometimes. But as I said, prayer changes things. And the, only the courageous win, right? Only the courageous win. And uh, we have to go inside there with a vision. We have to approach 2022 with a vision so we can prosper. So we have to clean the things that we have done in the past. We must not take it over to 21. We have to believe in the time for change. And only if we believe in change, in time for change, that's the only way we are going to be prosperous. If you as individual decided that you want to change, you have to decide that I am going to change my way of thinking, my behavioral pattern. I am going to change uh, my thoughts and so on. And you have to go in it, go to the new year with a financial plan, a goal. I am going in it with a gold. Um, I am speaking on my channel right now, and um, I would like to see my channel grow. That is my aim. I don't know what is going on with my channel, but I'm, I'm using patience with it. And um, you have to go into the new year with a plan. A plan. All of us. Sometimes the plan is not forever. Plan. It's. It's the plan is for us to be um, encouraged, and the plan is. For us to be successful in life, successful in our relationships, successful in our friendships, successful in our business, 
successful in our financial well-being and successful in our Christianity, successful in, in our family and everything. So um, 2022, it's a year that we must not go in it. We don't think we I don't think we should go in it with the past and the 2021. The pandemic is here and I hope and I pray that God will remove it from our society so that our loved one can be ill and we can be more prosperous because you know people are dying every day and um, we need the crime to cease, we need uh, the pandemic to go, we need our children to survive, we need our children to grow in the right way, we need to go to church, we need to um, have some obedience. We need a lot of things, but only way you achieve that unless you expect to change. Only you as individual are expected to change. As long as you're willing to change, then all will be well. Going into 2022, right? We have to decide, choose what we want. Either we want violence, we want goodwill, or we want negative let us not go into 2022 with a negative energy we don't need that negative energy cannot help us only the positive thoughts and the positive mind the positive thinking only it can let us go forward in 2022 and don't be discouraged about anything just let your faith be more greater than your fears I know some of us are very um, doubtful and um, sometimes we are, I don't know, we are made that way, but sometimes we have to let go of the pressure. Me, for example, I let go of a lot of things. In my previous vlog, I made a vlog about me and at Christmas and it is really true, it's not a joke. Um, there is many other things that has happened, I decided not to tell, you know, but um, I expect I decide to change. I decide to change my way of life to for me to be where I'm at now. I always I decide to change from my thought, my thinking. I let nothing bother me. Sometimes I don't let nothing at all bother me. Only when I'm overwhelmed, like for instance, when my husband or my partner keep calling me, call me. I don't like that. I don't like. Um, people to keep calling me, calling me, calling me like he calls me when he can't get me. That get me very irritated. But I um I decided that I do not want to take this type of behavior, this type of challenge into 2022. I am look forward in for a better life, a better way of thinking, um, a covenant for my children. Covenants for my sisters, covenants for my brothers, covenants for my friend, covenants for the world. Because, you know, crime is everywhere and um, that is a dangerous part of our life right now. Crime and the pandemic. The pandemic is not so bad, but the crime, the, the nature of us human beings is very bitter. And we want to change that going into the new year. We want to go in it with a greater thinking, a thinking that we will not disappoint ourselves because sometimes we do things that we regret and um, sometimes the regret is um, if I didn't know it's a dangerous word I really don't like that word that word gives me pain sometimes but what can I say I'm going into the new year with an open mind and I hope you too go in it with an open mind let faith and power and strength and energy be your portion for the new 2022 and um, everything that you face, face it with courage. Only the courageous win. And let faith be above your fear. I'm looking forward to see you all in the new year. And I'm, um, I wish you all the best for the new year to come. New year will be at midnight. Every different part of the world has their new year. Some country may have their new years already. But it's a great honor to be alive to make this vlog so that i could speak to someone or speak to all of us including my own self who's talking about the new year i wish you all a happy and a prosperous new year when it comes and i hope all the children and the families will be okay 
I wish you all the best. Just make the courageous within you and the human within you. Be humorous to each other and be loved. Let love be the art and the conqueror of doing hard work and dedication and persuasion. Be your next motivation for the new year. Enjoy yourself and take care of yourself and your family. Let love win. Love is the triumphant power of all human beings. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, share, share with everyone. Thank you for watching. Have yourself a great day and a great new year when it comes.